Hey guys, it's hashtag Ask Lauren. What do we think of this ponytail? I did it because my hair was a mess. Okay, so I have this really good question that came from uh, Patrice Goldstein. She said, what are your thoughts on judgment? For example, I often find myself disliking slash being judgmental of people who I find to be judgmental. In moments like that, I struggle with feeling like a hypocrite. Okay, now someone underneath responded saying, judging is inevitable. Judging isn't necessarily bad. Judgment is a big topic for me and something that I think about often because sometimes I don't know if I'm being judgmental or if I'm listening to my gut feeling about someone or something. Am I judging the situation or am I feeling like, mm, I want nothing to do with that. I don't like it, so I'm not going to get involved. I don't want to deal with that person's drama. So am I judging them or am I just listening to myself saying, don't go down that road. So I do struggle with that as well and I get what you're saying. I would say by nature, I am a pretty judgmental person. I judge everything. I kind of decide in an instant whether I like it or not. Um, I'm not somebody who really like wavers on going like, uh, you know, I, I know people who, who can't seem to decide their preference. Do you know what I mean? But like, it's like, I just know my preferences in all ways very specifically about everything, big things, small things, people, food, anything. So I feel like to me, that's just, that's being judgmental because I'm able to decide in an instant whether it's something I want or I do not want. I don't think that's a bad skill. I think that's actually a very good thing. Now, when it comes to judging people, right? Like we're just, we are supposed to accept people as they are, accept their faults, forgive their behaviors because if in, in holding on to those things, we're only damaging ourselves, right? I think you gotta look at it as how much is it affecting you? Is your judgment of other people like swallowing you whole and making you feel aggravated? Because if it's making you feel bad, then you have an issue, right? And I guess we judge people because it's often our, it's like a, like if ever you're thrown a situation or you're being, or you're dealing with somebody that really rubs you the wrong way and you're judging what they're doing and don't agree with what they're doing, it's only presented itself really for you to take a look at yourself, for you to take a look at whatever, your behavior, something you're harboring inside, some emotional thing that you haven't dealt with. That's what I've come to learn is that every time I'm faced with something that kind of makes me stop and take a closer look at it, cause I'm often bothered by it or whatever, that's an opportunity being presented to me to go, oh, what's the bigger picture here? What's the bigger lesson? What's the bigger meaning behind this awful interaction? If it is an awful interaction, it can also be a positive interaction that makes you appreciate something as well. But if we're talking about judgment, which we often associate with negativity, which we often associate with something we need to learn, then that's, I think, what's going on. So, uh, I don't know that there's necessarily a right or wrong answer here. I think it's just, this is what I feel. And I definitely, I definitely kind of go, I label myself a lot. I go, oh, I'm so judgmental. Like if you only knew the things that were going on in my head half the time when I'm interacting with people and whatnot, I, but I think we all are like that. I think, but it's just like, are we gonna, are we gonna let that like inner conversation affect how we act as people? Like if we're unreasonable people, then yeah, we won't know how to like um, be tactful with people, you know? And I don't let that happen because that's not something I'm wired to do. But I think if maybe you have mental illness or you have no filter or different things, I think that's when you would allow that inner dialogue, that inner judgment, to bleh all over the place. And I don't think that that's really proper conduct. I don't think that that's being loving and compassionate, which I think is what we're all inherently supposed to be like, should be like, and are, are meant to be in order to feel okay living this life, right? I get how you're saying like, you are judgmental of other people who are judgmental because you can identify judgment. And I think the only way we can identify harsh judgment in others is because we ourselves do it. So I think if you just look at it like that, it's just, 
but like I said, being reflected to you in that way to help you look at your own behavior. So maybe, maybe Patrice, you are too judgmental, but that's okay because you can work on that. I've had to work on it. I mean, I've had to just get really accepting of things. I think a good example for me is like with John in my relationship, I will judge him the most. <laughs> you know, I won't be accepting of just who he is as a person for whatever reason, right? Now I'm admitting that that's true. I think we all experience that in our most intimate relationships, but I know that each time something happens, I'm presented with another opportunity to not be judgmental, to just say, okay, this is how he decided to do something. It's not how I would do it, but it's fine. And it's just constantly trying to be that way because there's no sense in getting all worked up about things that's just gonna cause discord between us and all this stuff. I mean, the real lesson is to really just accept everybody around us and who we don't even know for who they are and not worry too much about why they do the things they do because we can't change what they do. It's not up to us to control what they do. All we can control and all we can be in charge of and responsible for is our own reactions and our own emotions and our own actions. I don't know if I really answered that, but it was interesting because I thought, well, before I answer this question, I'm gonna open my book and see what Marianne Williamson says about judgment because I'm reading, as you know, still a return to love, reflections on the principles of A Course in Miracles. Now the book, A Course in Miracles is considered by most of these sort of spiritual self-help uh, teachers as like the Bible of that world. I happened to just open the page up to the exact page said giving up judgment. Now I think this is maybe relating, I don't think this is just relating to intimate relationships. I think this is relating to all relationships. How do we escape judgment? Largely through a reinterpretation of what we're judging. A Course in Miracles describes the difference between a sin and an error. A sin would mean we did something so bad that God's angry at us, but since we can't do anything that changes our essential nature, God has nothing to be angry at, only love is real. Anyway, this is how the book is written, a lot of that type of reference to God, so sometimes it gets a little too much in my head. I mean, judgment also has to do with forgiveness, right? This is how the chapter about giving up judgment ends, and I underlined it. I spent years as an angry left winger before I realized that an angry generation can't bring peace. Everything we do is infused with the energy with which we do it. As Gandhi said, we must be the change. What the ego doesn't want us to see is that the guns we need to get rid of first are the guns in our own heads. And that's what I mean. The guns in our own heads is that voice that is sitting there going and judging this person and going, meh, 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 meh. well, they probably didn't even know. And did they even realize it? Da, 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 da. All of that chatter, that's like, that's like small self, that's like ego self trying to protect you from realizing the bigger picture and the bigger picture is love for all things, all of the time. And it's not supposed to be like, la la la. Sometimes I get real angry at that too. Cause I'm like, oh la la, everything's great. And, and ignoring, you know, certain things. And I, it's not meant to be looked at like that. But the guns we need to get rid of first are the guns in our own heads. So are we constantly trying to battle with ourselves, battle with others, fight the system, make everyone see our way, nah, 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 getting all up in arms like that. And I am totally, and I used to be more so, that person. I, this spiritual sort of teacher once that I saw um, at a retreat said, you know, she's, she, she goes, you're walking out every day out of the house, like armored with guns blazing, like ready to defend off whatever you think is attacking you. And sh I cried cause I was like, totally, like totally. That is what I do every single day. So she helped me. I talked about this in another video about surrounding myself with a softer energy before I leave the house as my protection, as opposed to thinking I need to carry around these invisible guns to like shoot everybody off. This idea of being attacked, whatever, comes from lots of different things. We don't need to get into that, I'm sure. But like, how is that helping me? Like, how is that energy in my head helping me navigate my life every day. It's not. And as I've disarmed that and put those guns down and tried to live from a more centered place and a more peaceful place, the world around me reflects that, right? That's not to say that I don't find myself in situations where I don't like people or I don't just, I don't like everybody. You don't have to like everybody. You just have to accept people. And if you don't want anything to do with somebody, you have the choice to say goodbye or I'm not dealing with you and you don't need to do it in a rude way. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you don't have to put yourself in the place where you're going to judge more. 
And I think just by being aware of it, like you are Patrice is already the f kind of first thing. And I wouldn't get too worked up about the fact that you're judging. Just know that you're judging and know that you can change the behavior over time, small little bits at a time, right? Oh God, okay, so it's a big one. I mean, it's something that I think about often that I deal with, but I think at the end of the day, you just have to worry about, like it said in that chapter, what is the energy that I'm bringing to the table? Because that's the energy that will be reflected back at me, right? Okay, big one, good one. Thanks, Patrice. Leave some more hashtag Ask Lauren questions below. Use the hashtag so I can find them. That's how I find them, search them. You can also follow me and ask me stuff on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all of the places. And thanks so much for watching. And you guys are awesome. We are beyond 30,000 subscribers. Isn't that crazy? I don't know what's going on out there, but I suppose it is a reflection of something good. So thanks for being here. And uh, you guys are awesome. And I'll see you guys Monday. Bye.